Okay, hey everyone, my name is Paul and I'm a developer evangelist at Twilio. If you haven't heard of Twilio before, we make it easy for you to send and receive SMS messages and place and receive phone calls through your software. And instead of doing a presentation today, I'm going to do a live demo to show you how easy it is to integrate it into an existing piece of software. I need everyone in this room to take their phones out. Now I'm aware if you're, not on, t if you're on T Mobile, you have terrible signal. I made that mistake as well. So I'm sorry about that, but you can't participate. So before um, things get going, we need to get a phone number because just like the phone in your hand, I need to be able to send and receive my voice calls and SMS from somewhere. I can do that through the Twilio platform here. I can go and buy a number. We have numbers available in over 50 countries. I'm going to get one in the UK. And I'm going to get one here in Cambridge because you know what? We're in Cambridge and it's good to have a local number. I'm going to buy a random number. Um, this one does voice and SMS. So I have the full functionality for this, and I can outbound, I can send SMS and voice anywhere in the world except for the Antarctica and Iraq. For those that both have obvious reasons. If you don't, come and ask me afterwards why. So <laughs> when you make a voice call or SMS to this phone number, it's going to come into Twilio, and then Twilio is going to make a request to my server saying, what do you want me to do with this? Someone's trying to ring you. And I can define where that will go in this little box here, and it's just a URL to my web server. Anyone who understands software, I'm sure you will do. This will come in as a HTTP request, so it will come in natively as software. But that URL doesn't exist. That piece of software is currently eight lines of code. It doesn't do anything, so let's build this. That root that I need to build, any Python fans? Python, woo! I love Python. <laughs> that root needs to be built like this, and we just go ahead and say messages. This is where it's going to come in, and we want to accept post requests. Uh, post, I'm getting jelly fingers. And I'm going to link this to a function called reply to message. And then I'm just going to return something back. Now, if anyone here has ever done any HTML or XML, this will look very familiar. I'm just going to send back plain XML to Twilio. And Twilio will transform that into my voice calls and SMS for me. And it makes sense to send back a message when you text me. And I'm going to say, hello, business of software. Get in touch. Paul at Twilio.com. So if we go over here, you'll see I'm running this on a local machine. And if everyone wants to send an SMS message now to 01223, or plus 44 if you're from abroad, 750431. And if you get a reply, wave your hands in the air like you just don't care so that I know it's working. I'm getting the, you can see down here, you're, we're getting these post messages coming in now on the server. Are there, people are getting replies? Awesome. OK, so that's inbound SMS. And I've just built an SMS thing very quickly. But we can do other cool, interesting stuff. And because you've all sent me an SMS, I now have your phone numbers stored in my account. And I can go ahead <laughs> and dive into the Python interpreter, which really is consigning myself to an early grave, because this is really terrifying to do live. And I'm going to just import our REST client here. We have these available for multiple languages. But being uh, an API, you can just do this through HTTP if you want. I'm going to instantiate this. I'm going to log in. I don't trust anyone here with my credentials, so I've stored them in my environment. This is always a little bit tricky, this one. It's actually because I can't remember two 30 character strings. Right, so let's go ahead and see what people wrote. I hope no one wrote a swear word, because we're about to find out if you did. <laughs> and we're going to uh, ask for all the messages that have been sent. Oh, I'm messing this up now. That have been sent to this phone number. And I just need to close that there. And that will just generate a list. And this is going to query Twilio. It's going to come back, and it's going to display it all there. So fish and chips, boom, hello, hi, test. That's good. It's always the highs and the stuff. Um, but let's just wrap up by doing something interesting. I'm going to get your phone numbers. I won't display these on the screen, obviously. So there we go. Now I have the numbers in a list. We have how many people have we got? We have got 28 phone numbers. And for every single number in that list, I want to place a call so I can create a phone call over the telephone network <laughs> in a single line of code. It's going to come from this number. And then we need to feed it a URL. And I know what you're thinking. Telephony, this is complex. We don't have a URL. But wait, this is software. We can do that in 30 seconds. So let's just go write this route down now. And we're going to call it voice. And I could do everything in the telephone network now if I wanted to. I could do conference calling. I could record your PIN numbers from your credit cards. Sound good? By getting you to type them in. I could um, get you to leave a voicemail saying that was a terrible joke, Paul. I could get it to say stuff. I, instead, I'm going to just play a song. So the entire telephony infrastructure can just be built using very simple 
XML tags like this, and you programmatically control it. And I'm going to link this to a sound file, which is hidden away um, behind a bit.ly link, because I don't want you to know what it is. Oh. <gasps> Thank you ever so much. That would have been hilarious. Right, OK. And again, I'm just going to link to that URL. Seriously, thank you so much. <laughs> OK, so that's going to create a call to your number from my number. When it answers, it will link to that URL, get the instructions, and it will start playing something down the phone. So when you get the phone calls, you can put it on loudspeaker if you want. The calls are now going to fire off. Do answer them. Put it on loudspeaker, and you should get something nice down the phone. This is my favorite theme tune from the best film ever. Yes! There we go. That is the Star Wars theme tune. Um, I'd like to call that the Star... This is going to just be a loud noise now for the next minute. Um, that is the Star Wars theme tune as a service built with Twilio in five minutes. But what can you do with this? Well, you've just seen how easy it is to integrate telephony into something you already have, an existing piece of software. So as we had the speaker... The, the, the long, the, yeah, I'm going to try and speak over this all now. So if you, if you want to listen to it, do so, but not on loudspeaker. Um, and that might go for a while because there's like 30 people here. So um, if you want to be able to provide this telephony service, providing call centers, providing automated SMS messaging, two-factor authentication, you've just seen how quickly you can integrate it. So you could go home this evening, integrate it into your existing products, and it will be there up and running. You have no need to set anything up. It's all done through native software. And if you have any questions, come and find me. If you sent an SMS message, you've also got my email. I'll be around in the red jacket. My name is Paul. That is Twilio, and that's how you do voice and SMS with software. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that. We certainly did. Um, for more talks from Business Software Conference and other BLN events, visit theblm.com or come to our next event. You'll love it as much as we do.